Hi all, this is one of the stars. This is part two of my bodysuit tutorial talking about the fabrics. Something that's just as important as your pattern is your fabric. Your fabric will help determine how it lays, how it stretches, how it photographs, and all these different variable factors. So I want to go over a couple different types of fabrics and what you need to use. The first question you should ask yourself is do you want two-way or four-way stretch? Two-way stretch just means it's only going to stretch one way. A good example is this vinyl. It only stretches this way, but it doesn't stretch this way. So this is great for armor pieces and stuff of that nature. Same thing with this vinyl. It stretches one way, but does not stretch the other way. Um, I use this on Huntress. This is great also for armor and stuff of that nature. The importance of different types of stretches is if you have a two-way stretch, you're going to want it in your greatest degree of stretch. So you're going to want it more this way as opposed to this way. Personally, I prefer four-way stretches because it makes the costume a lot more comfortable and it lays a lot nicer. Because if you're going to be stretching like this, you're going to be able to do that as of where if you had a two-way, you wouldn't be able to do that. You'd be like really scrunching like this. So the patterns I showed you do allow for two-way stretch material with the greatest degree of stretch going this way. But I use four-way stretches just because it's a lot more comfortable and it's easier to do and just it's just nicer overall. Um, another thing you want to consider is your texture of your fabric. Different textures create different results and lay different and stuff of that nature. There's much a difference like the vinyls I just showed you. There's also such things as metallic spandex. This is a metallic spandex. Very shiny, very fun to work with. Um, these always, they come in four-way and two-way stretches. This one is a four-way stretch. It stretches in both directions. With four-way stretches, there's always going to be one way that stretches more than the other. The way that stretches the most, make sure you always make it your horizontal because that's where your most stretch is going to be or where your most stretch is going to be needed. Um, I like to vary up different types of fabrics or textures of fabrics in my costumes to create just, just to break stuff up. So like Sombard is a great example. This is a matte black fabric. The white is a metallic spandex and the pink is also metallic spandex made into piping. Um, it kind of breaks up the monotony of the fabrics and just gives kind of an overall nice feeling. Um, another example is this is my Huntress bodysuit. It's a matte black metallic spandex is with a metallic white spandex thrown on here. Both are four-way stretches. So, and another thing you need to consider about fabric is your weight of your fabric. Ideally, your weight needs to be between six ounces to eight ounces. Now, when I mean about weight, I mean the thickness of your fabric. The thicker the fabric, the better it's going to hold the shape of your bodysuit, and the better it holds you in and kind of gives you support. Whereas thinner stuff, a little bit more floppy, a little bit more flowy, it doesn't hold you in as well. So it also has a tendency to show things like your bra lines or underwear lines, or if you have a little bit of punch like I do, that tends to show a little bit more when you don't want it to. Um, like I said, ideally six to eight ounces. Most fabrics become between that range. If you find something that is, you know, six or less, there are some that are five, and it's the only color and it's the perfect fabric, you can get away with it. Just know it's not going to be as nice if you can get a thicker fabric. I have also used as thick fabrics as 10 ounce. This is a 10 ounce fabric. It is very stretchy. It's called a jumbo stretch. They use it a lot for um, different sports type of things in that nature. I got this at my local store, but you can also get it on the different types of links, which I'll post at the end of the video and in the description box. If you can tell, this is stuff is pretty thick. It's also shiny on one side. so. Bear in mind that this will give you the satin effect. And what I mean by the satin effect is that when you get flash photographed, you're just going to be a shiny person, and that is never attractive. So try to stay away from the shiny fabrics. Metallic spandex is different because it gives a different type of sheen. It's metallic -y, um, as opposed to this stuff. Um, I've used this in the Sailor Fukus. It works really well because white is always really see-through, and with the Sailor Fukus, you don't want to have that see throughness so that's why I've used this and also helps hold everything together nicely. One other comment I want to make about different types of textures of fabrics with the shiny rule is for most female bodysuits that are black you'll see them really glossy or shiny so they suggest it either being a metallic or a PVC or something of that nature. For a lot of my suits I've always used black metallic spandex. 
The reason I use that is because it's a lot more breathable than the PVC. It gives a shiny effect and it's a lot more stretchy than a PVC. PVC is great and it works well for different things. Like I've used it in my Yoko shirts, Yoko shorts, uh, and other stuff like that. But it also tends to just stick to itself and it rips off, rips off the finishing. So that's another thing you need to take in consideration when choosing what type of fabrics you want. Thanks for watching. This concludes the second half of my bodysuit tutorial, the fabric. If you want to find out more about the different types of patterns, go click bodysuits part one. If you want to learn more about your construction techniques and how to do appliques, go ahead and look at the next videos. Of course, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks.